In this video, we'll introduce symmetric matrices, their definition, examples and non-examples, some basic properties, and how to construct a symmetric matrix using a matrix and its transpose. Chapters in the description if you want to skip around the video. A square matrix A is called symmetric if the matrix A is equal to its own transpose. This means AIJ equals AJI. So the entry in the ith row and jth column equals the entry in the jth row and ith column. That's what it means for a matrix to be symmetric. It equals its own transpose. These matrices are called symmetric matrices because the way that this property appears in a matrix is as symmetry across the main diagonal. Look at these symmetric matrices. You can see that they are symmetric across the main diagonal. 5 to 5, 3 to 3, 0 to 0. There is symmetry across the diagonal. Here's a diagonal matrix, which is also an example of a symmetric matrix, since, of course, it's just zeros off the main diagonal. So it's kind of trivial that it's symmetric. So again, in symmetric matrices, we have mirror images across the main diagonals. That's what makes it symmetric. Also, as an example of this entry equality equation, here's five in the second row and first column. But in the first row and second column, we also have five. Or another example, here is three in the third row and first column. But in the first row and third column, we also have three. That's symmetry. If we change any one entry that's off the main diagonal in any of these symmetric matrices, then they would no longer be symmetric. All of these are non-examples. None of these matrices are symmetric now because they are not symmetric across the main diagonal. None of these matrices would be equal to their own transpose. Meanwhile, back to the matrices that are symmetric, you can see if we took the transpose of this first matrix, we would turn this first row into the first column, so eight, negative two, and we would turn this second row into the second column, negative two, one. And you can see, of course, they are exactly the same. Here are some basic properties of symmetric matrices. If A and B are symmetric matrices of the same size and K is any scalar, then A to the T is symmetric, of course, because the transpose of A transpose is just A. And if A is symmetric, then it equals its transpose. Also, A plus B and A minus B are symmetric. Because if A and B are both symmetric, then adding B to A or subtracting B from A, there's nothing to introduce an A symmetry because B itself is symmetric. Certainly, the scalar K times A is also symmetric. Multiplying by scalar does not break symmetry. And interestingly, AB, the product of two symmetric matrices, is itself symmetric if and only if A and B commute. And here is a quick proof of that fact. If we wanted to see if AB was symmetric, the product AB, we would look at the transpose of AB. We know that the transpose of a product is this, so B transpose, A transpose. Since A and B are both symmetric, B transpose, A transpose equals B times A, because symmetric matrices equal their own transpose. So we have the AB transpose equals BA. Now for AB to be symmetric, its transpose, which is BA, would have to equal AB. So AB transpose will only equal AB, and thus AB will be symmetric, if AB equals BA. So A and B have to commute. Once more, it's always the case that AB transpose equals BA, but if that equals AB, which will be the case if A and B commute, then AB transpose would equal AB, and that's when AB would be symmetric. So again, AB is symmetric if and only if A and B commute. Another easy thing to prove, if you recall some of the properties of a transpose, is that if A is an invertible symmetric matrix, then A inverse is also symmetric. Here's a quick proof. We assume that A is an invertible symmetric matrix. Then A inverse transpose, 
Well, we know that the transpose of an inverse is just the inverse of the transpose. Link in the description to the video where we prove that. So A inverse transpose equals A transpose inverse. But since A is symmetric, A transpose is just A. So this is just A inverse. Thus, we see that A inverse transpose equals A inverse. So by definition, A inverse is symmetric. Lastly, let's see a matrix product that always produces a symmetric matrix. At this point, A is not necessarily symmetric itself. A is just an M by N matrix. In this case, A transpose would be some N by M matrix. And then, here's the interesting thing. A times its transpose is always going to produce a symmetric matrix. And, of course, A transpose times A is going to produce a symmetric matrix also. If A is M by N, then A times A transpose is an M by M square matrix. And A transpose A is an N by N square matrix. Here's a quick justification of the fact that A times A transpose produces a symmetric matrix. Here's A times A transpose. Let's take its transpose. We know that to take the transpose of a product, we have to reverse the order and take the transpose of the pieces. So this is equal to A transpose transpose times A transpose. A transpose transpose just gets us back to A. And A transpose is, of course, A transpose. So we see that the transpose of A A transpose is A A transpose. Thus, this product, A times its transpose, is symmetric. And of course, the fact that A transpose A is symmetric would be proven in the exact same way. One last thing about products of this sort is that if A is an invertible square matrix, then A times its transpose and A transpose times A is also invertible. This is because if A is invertible, then so is its transpose. We've previously proven that the transpose of an invertible matrix is invertible. So if A is invertible, so is its transpose. But we also know that the product of invertible matrices is an invertible matrix. So if A is invertible, then indeed A times A transpose is invertible, and so is A transpose A. So these would be symmetric invertible matrices in that case. Let's just finish off with a quick example of seeing a product of this sort. Here's a matrix A. It is 2 by 3. Let's multiply A by its transpose. Here's A, and here's A transpose, taking those rows and turning them into columns. Let's proceed with the matrix multiplication and see the nice symmetric matrix that comes out of it. First, we would get 1, 2, 3 matched up with 1, 2, 3, and so doing the multiplication and addition, that's going to be 1 plus 4 plus 9. Then we would match 1, 2, 3 up with 0, negative 1, negative 2. That's going to be negative 2 minus 6. Then we would have the second row, 0, negative 1, negative 2, matched up with the first column, 1, 2, 3. That's going to be negative 2 minus 6. And then we would have the second row matched up with the second column. So 0, negative 1, negative 2 matched up with 0, negative 1, negative 2. That's going to be 1 plus 4. Now let's just do this arithmetic. 1 plus 4 plus 9, that's going to be 14. Negative 2 minus 6 is going to be negative 8. Negative 2 minus 6 is still negative 8. And then this entry, 1 plus 4, is going to be 5. And we see this is a symmetric 2 by 2 matrix. Taking the rows and turning them into columns would produce the same exact matrix. It's equal to its transpose. And you can also just see that symmetry across the main diagonal, negative 8 and negative 8 on both sides of the diagonal. So as expected, this is a square symmetric matrix, which came from taking this matrix and multiplying it by its own transpose. So that's a little bit about symmetric matrices and some of their interesting properties. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you find my linear algebra videos helpful, please consider supporting the channel by joining as a channel member or pledging on Patreon to get access to exclusive and early videos. You can also make a one-time donation on PayPal. There are links in the description. Thanks for considering and thanks for watching. Uh, uh.
uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need